Linebacker Shane Collin put it, uh, Conlon put an exclamation on his career at Penn State by leading the Nittany Lions to a perfect 12-0 national championship season in 1986 and earned defensive MVP honors to boot in the title game. Shane Conlon, congratulations. Thank you, bud. Um, obviously, it's already been said, but I'm very honored to, to be here today. Um, I'd just like to thank a couple people, the Penn State family, which is, you know, it's, it's gone through a lot this last couple of couple of years. So Coach Rankin, thanks. Uh, the AD Sandy's here. Um, and then before that, I just, you know, I was a small kid from Frewsburg, New York, who weighed 175 pounds. And uh, Tom Bradley found me, convinced Joe to take me, and it worked out. So thank, I want to thank Tom Bradley for that. Thanks. That legendary national championship game between Miami and Penn State. If you could only take one memory from that game, what would it be? Uh, I guess just that uh, Vinny threw it to the wrong team. More than <laughs> no, once. <laughs> no, uh, we were lucky. I mean, what a great team. We, you know, four, four turnovers, so that helps. So, but it's just, you know, it was my. Uh, Actually, I was a part of the, the first national championship, too, so in 82, but uh, it was just a great day. You know, once I think back, when you see all these guys that are going in with you, you really, you're, you're in awe of, of the class, number one. Number two, you know, honored to even be in the same breath with those guys, so obviously it's great. I just wish, you know, obviously uh, one person was here to see it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, but, you know, other than that, that's the sadness that kind of brings out uh, this whole thing. But because right. I know right before he, you know, passed that, that he, he uh, you know, he wrote a letter and said, you know, to nominate me. So, yeah, so awesome man. Your recruiting story. I mean, was it true that no, yes, no one not was one. asking? Yeah, we, we had that uh, Penn State function last night and, and Tom Bradley was speaking before I was. And he was saying, they're like, we were lucky. I said, and then I went up and I said, listen, there was nobody recruiting except for Penn State. I mean, I mean, I got turned down by like Syracuse and Ohio State. They just said no. But uh, you know, thanks to Tom, I mean, he kept kept fighting, fighting the good fight. And uh, I mean, it was very fortunate. I mean, that he he kept it. My my high school coach Tom Sharp and. And, and Tom Bradley, and then you know once I got there, it was great, to, you know, with Joe. But uh, yeah, it's crazy. Your high school coach again, Tom Sharp. Yeah, Tom, Tom Sharp. That's it, Jay. Yeah, you're right. He kept fighting. He he was he had a lot to do with it. Those two guys. Right. Um, finally, I think tells the story about Joe's reaction when he when he was lobbying to get you yeah, in school. Right. Do you recall any of that? No. Well, I wasn't a part of that. I know you were a part yeah, of it. Yeah. No. But I remember Tom, Tom, Tom saying it. Which you know he never said it until like recently, so I, I didn't know any of that stuff happened. But yeah, but obviously I pre appreciate it. But I think uh, he, you know he took a gamble and it paid off. So okay. who knows? Yeah. Um, the linebacker you tradition of Penn State, obviously you were a big part of it, and it continues on today. Right. You know, uh, to yeah. play call and uh, guys cr like that. Crazy, uh, yeah. Have you followed the linebackers? Of course, since your yeah, time absolutely. And, and, and what do you think is the common thread as to why they're so good? Well, I think. Uh, Especially when I was there, and and I think it's, it's continuing. I think I think they they really, they get good athletes, and uh, good tough kids, good athletes, and people that like to play football. Mm -hmm. I think, and then they put them in that position. I think that's why, um, you know, Scrap was good at it. Obviously, Joe finding these guys all the way. You know, the Sean Lees of the world, and you know, Paul Plutzlesny, yes. the, the Arringtons. You know, I've been following. Yeah, you know, Jack Jack Ham and I are, are good friends. Okay. We live in the same town, so. Um, it's just, I, I think the common thread is I think they're just good athletes that, that love to play football. So what was last night like for you uh, seeing old Penn State, uh, not great. old Penn State people, right. but uh, uh, what was it like seeing everybody? Oh, it was great. Well, first of all, I got to meet uh, Coach Franklin, which I am so impressed with. I mean, I like, wow, this guy, he was talking to my parents. He's just, you know, the charisma that that, that guy has and the energy. And uh, yeah, we had a great talk. Mm -hmm. And you know he met all my family, which was awesome. Um, and you know, the highlight was Tom Bradley coming, you know, taking time out of his busy schedule. I know he's coaching again, and he's loving, loving West Virginia. And uh, so, I hung with him, you know. So 
it was great seeing those guys. And then, you know, my for former teammates. Uh, which ones came last time? Uh, it was uh, Dan Delegati, Tim Sweeney, um, Chris Collins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, roommates. A lot of them are coming in today, hopefully. Yeah. They'll get, get sure, here with sure. this weather. Um, about James, this was the first time you'd actually... Yeah, yeah. I, I, he called me on the phone and uh, congratulated me. Uh, that's when I was in Dallas doing that. And then... Uh, yeah, it's the first time we face to face. I mean, he let me a text a couple times, but yeah, it's the first time. Well, great guy.